Hello everyone and welcome. This video is to demonstrate the quick and easy use of the 3CP curve plotting tool. As well as being able to plot straights and constant curvature, it can plot the routes for transition curves. Let's have a look at the 3CP tool close up. Here we can see it comprises of a left arm, a right arm, connected by a central pivot here. This is a connecting rod used to set the, the tool's curve radius. <coughs> on this side here you can see the radius settings, metric on the side and imperial on the other. So if we were to change the curve radius, we can undo the curve setting screw, move the arms round, and I'm going to choose 915 millimeters radius. Screw it in there. And now you can see the centre line of the tool, which forms the radius of the track, is through this point here, centre the pivot, and the centre at the end here. So you can imagine drawing an arc right the way through the centre of the track curved plotting tool, and that's the radius as defined by where it's set. I'm now going to show you how to plot a straight line to a transition curve into a constant curve. And this is a quick and easy process using this, this tool. First of all, I set up my, my starting points or my reference points, and I use a straight edge first. And I just draw a pencil line in from the straight edge. And then I decide along that line where I'm going to start my transition curve. So I'm just going to choose an arbitrary point and just going to pick here. What I then do is I use the centre point on the curve plotting tool and then I align it to where that mark is, crossing the straight line. I make another mark back to where my first reference point is on the straight line and I've already preset the curve plotting tool to 60 inch radius or 1524 millimetres. And what this has done is provided an offset and this offset is 60 inches on the radius. So I can then mark that on the board with an inverted T, show me the location and the radius, and you can see it here now. What I next do, so I can keep a record of what I'm plotting, I just write down the radius in that section. So I, one, five, Two, four, and I know what that point is for a radius. I then pick up the tool and I change the radius setting. This time I'm just going to take it down one step so it's a gradual change. So this is um, 1219 millimeters or 48 inches. So change that, screw that back in. Now this time I move the tool forward. So instead of it being here, I now move it across to here. I line up the points as precisely and as consistently as possible. And then I mark, or I forward mark, the point on the new radius. So that now becomes a radius of 1, 2, 1, 9 millimetres. I do the same again. I pick up the tool and reduce the, the radius setting further. I bring it down to 42 inches or 1067 millimetres. Screw it back in. And then move it forward again. Line up as consistently and as precisely as I can. And mark an inverted T. And of course, put the, uh, the radius, write the radius down, 1067. So I've now got a, I'm building up this transition curve, which is effectively a spiral curve and it keeps tightening and tightening as I progress round. Now just to show you with a bit more clarity, I've made these sticky note markers here. And they coincide with the previous pencil markings, which align to the curve that was plotted. This first part of the curve here shows a constant curve 
it runs round to the transition curve and then the straight. Now it's time to lay the track and to form the curve. First of all, I set the 3CP tool straight. I then push it into the gauge of the flexible track. And I slide it in there. Turn it around. Slide it in. And what that does, it gets the flexible track dead straight. You can see it's very straight indeed. Then I pick up the tool and I set the radius to something like a metre, maybe 36 inches. That'll do. It's only approximate. Set the tool as that. Again, push it into the curve, into the gauge. Slide it up and down. And that pre-curves the track, which makes it easier for laying and forming the curve. Now the curve plotting tool is a very precise curve plotting tool and very flexible in its use as well. As you can see, it's plotted the route here, around here. And if you're not happy with it, it's easy to change. You can just adjust um, some of the settings and take a, a slightly different route or begin somewhere else. But I haven't laid any track and I know I'm going to get a perfect curve because that's where my route is going, I can see it. So first of all, I set the tool to the first transition curve. I line the track up on the, the straight bit. With the, and the first transition point begins here to here. And in this case it's 1524 millimetres, 60 inches. And then what I do is I set it up, align the point. Now I'm using the ends of the sleepers, it doesn't really matter. You can use any point on the track, whether it's the centre of the track, the outside edge of the rail, it doesn't matter as long as you're consistent all the way through. That's the key point. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fix the track in place. So now then, what does it look like with an oil tank train going around the curve and then onto the straight? There we go. On the straight, around the transition curve and onto the constant curve. And with coaches. And there we have it.